sunny day in the top of 19. Friday, sunny and 20. And currently, it's 11 degrees. Carl Langford here. I want to tell you about one of my favourite fishing spots, Golden Pond. All right, we'll be on right after this uh, one ad. And then, oh, uh, Safina, yeah. are, are you 73 or 74 years young? I, right now, I'm 74. <laughs> When I when I take the show, I was 73, and then you know that was last year. Last year, so they you know. You're amazing. Here we go. Hold on. No, no, that was that was. Good morning, great. Hi, Sarah. Thank you to James in the last hour. You're amazing, James. I'm really excited now. I tell you, when we have our guests on the show, some guests are great and some guests are amazing. Some guests get me excited, and our guest this morning, Pal, gets me very excited. <laughs> when we started talking to her, she always filled us with lots of energy and great health advice. Then I was uh, lazing on my couch watching the TV, which is not what our guest would be doing, and I saw her on the television in a TV advertisement for the very fine TV program, America's Got Talent. Now, you know they reproduce this in various formats around the world. Britain's Got Talent, Australia's Got Talent. Well, we have the guests who'll be on the TV tonight of America's Got Talent, Dr. Osmina Monasterio, our friend, Pal. <laughs> Welcome to Perth. Good morning. Good morning, John. How are you? Well, thank you for asking. In comparison to you, <laughs> I probably just disappear. I, I feel well, but we know you're great. And we saw you on the TV. Now, you are, uh, at the time, you were 73 years young, uh, but you've had a birthday. So technically now, of course, you're 74 years young. Yes. But when we look at you on the TV, you look like you're 25 years well, young. <laughs> you know, and John, that's, that, that's how I feel. I feel great. I mean, age is just irrelevant. It really is. Age is irrelevant. But before we continue, John, I want to thank you because you've always been there for me before all these things happen, and I really appreciate doing working with you and you know connecting with the Australian people. So I just want to say thank you so much. It's our pleasure to be in your very excellent company. You you keep at it. You're looking amazing. You're strong. You're healthy. Now tell us about the process for those who aren't aware. You build your body. You're strong. You're fit. You're healthy. I know you know how to salsa dance. I've seen the video. <laughs> That's in everything that you do. But somehow you ended up on America's Got Talent and you blew them away. And we'll see it on the TV tonight. What happened? How did all of that take place, Osavina? When they, they invited me last year, and then one of the judges got sick. So they said to me, we could not tape last year. So they said, oh, we will, we will invite you. We're going to bring you back next year because they invited me. So I, I said, no, they're not going to invite me because I told them, you know, I don't dance, I don't sing, I don't do magic. <laughs> you know, I don't do, I just do my own thing. So they, the producers told me, no, we're going to bring you back next year, this, which is this year. So I was there in March and my, my birthday was in April. So that's how I ended up in America and got talent. I was invited and it was one of the greatest experiences that I ever had. Amazing experience. I love it. Normally when you go on America's Got Talent, you sing a song, as you pointed out, <laughs> or you do magic, as you yes. pointed out, or you operate glove puppets, as you pointed out. Now, you came on in your uh, bikini. Yes. 74 years young, looking absolutely remarkable. And you just exploded on stage with energy and happiness and health. <laughs> and that's all you did. And I couldn't stop watching. I'd never been so happy to see someone, our friend, on stage before. Do you think they were expecting you to... I don't know, do some close-up magic or sing a song at some point? Well, you, you, know, you saw the judges. They, have you seen the whole show? Uh, yes, we, uh, I've seen that. Okay, so you saw, you saw that they were asking... Oh, no, the, I thought you said the whole show, another show. No, I've, uh, I've certainly seen, yes, 
there you were on stage, and one of the uh, the co-hosts, uh, Terry, he's a fantastic character, he joined you on stage. Now, did you know that was going to happen? No, no, that, no. I, the only thing I knew that, because he's the host of the show, that he was going to come out and say, hi, Josefina, how are you? What is your talent? You know, all the judges was asking, what is her talent? And so that was my question to the producers when they asked me to be in their show. I said, but what? Don't do anything. But anyway, no, Terry, when he, Terry came out, was totally organic. I didn't know that he was going to appear that way. And you saw my reaction, and you saw the, the audience reaction. So it was just fabulous. Now, Terry, uh, Terry Cruz, I believe his surname is, uh, he, he is a remarkable bodybuilder. Yes, yeah, he said, uh, yeah. He I was, don't think he took his shirt off. I think he just flexed and it exploded off. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of person. And he, he took it upon himself to join you on stage. I thought he saw how much fun you were having out there. And he said, I want some of that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just clicked. We had a great energy. He's a great person. Everybody there is amazing human beings. So it's like I said, I, I will do it again in a heartbeat. Uh, you went downstage. You, you went up to the judges. You howled them. I think they couldn't believe what they were witnessing. The crowd, they loved you. Can you explain how you felt? when you were out there in front of the crowd because you obviously felt the admiration and certainly love. Well, I, I, I felt in my environment. That's what I love to do, John. I love to show people that there's always a better way, that because of my age, that doesn't mean I have to give up in life. And that, the, the, the side effect of me being in that show has been humongous. Because the paradigm about aging at any, at any, whether it's a man or a woman, has changed. And we're making a humongous difference in the world right now about people approaching age in a more confident way. Why shall I deny my age? Uh, the older that I get, the better I am. I should be proud. I should say it. Because look at me. I'm this old, and then I'm doing this, and I'm doing that. And that I'm, I'm talking about in general. So that is uh, that how I felt. I felt that life and God has given me an amazing, oppor amazing opportunity to show people, don't give up so early. You still have talent. You still have potential. You still have, you still have things that you can do and achieve and become. And then we just give up so quickly. And thank God I don't do that. I don't think that way. Pow! <laughs> yourself out or do you think you can just keep making yourself stronger while still listening to what your body can do of course i can i have this year this year i increased my muscle mass to almost three pounds and it's just not saying that i had a test i do a test my coach puts me in the machine and the scanner and then in the last six months i increased my muscle mass to almost three pounds, John. So why shall I give up? If I can continue to train with the discipline and the commitment that I have right now, and right now my discipline and commitment increases, increases because I feel like I have a humongous responsibility toward, toward the world, You're helping people and encouraging people. I'm not giving up, I'm not going, I'm going to continue to make my body my body better, and not just only my body, but my mind, my spirit. Continue developing the the best Josefina ever, ever, ever created. That's my attitude towards life. That I don't think about giving up. Oh well, whatever. I'm 80. I'm 80, and I'm gonna be better than now. Pow! <laughs> I love that. And I, I want to underline something you just said there, so I will. You want to be the best Josefina that there is. Now, I think I, I wouldn't mind being the best John Lewis there is, and I, I reckon that all our friends listening in with their names would like to be the best one they are as well. Is it hard work, or is it just something that you do to get there, if you know what I mean? Uh, because... There are things we do to get to a place, but it doesn't have to be hard. How, do, how is it for you? Does it feel hard, or is it just something you do to get there? Nothing that you love to do, that you embrace with passion, is hard. 
because even the hard times or the obstacles, they are just a stepping stone that make you stronger, that make you more powerful. The thing is just, if you love something, I mean, this is a blessing with me in my life and thank God for that. I always loved everything I done in my life. Nothing for me like, oh my God, what a ho ho horrible time. I don't, I don't see it that way because every, every experience is a stepping stone towards me becoming the best Josefina. So yes, it takes commitment. It takes discipline. You have to want it. You have to want it with the strength of your spirit because when you want things with the strength of your flesh, you're going to give up. When, when you develop that spirit and you go for the secret, for the greatness, for the ritual, for the thing that really makes you powerful, there is no hard time for me. There is always a good time. Pow! <laughs> I love it. Uh, how did the, uh, the, the judges react? Uh, I noticed one of the judges, um, uh, Sophia, she, she's from Colombia, where my darling wife is from. Uh, did you two have a Latin connection? Was uh, Were the others just amazed? Yes, yeah, so Sophia was the best. Because, you know, the other judges gave me no, 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 no. And Sophia defended me. Sophia told me, you great, I'm going to be like you. You, you saw that. So we just connected. And I think, it, you know, it had to do with a Latin thing. But also Terry Cruz, that they, do, they didn't show in the, in the, when they edited the show, they didn't put that portion. And Terry Cruz came out to tell the judges how great I was. So that thing was edited. But it, it was a great, great. It was also awesome. You are awesome. I also think that now I want our friends to know for sure, tonight on the TV, America's Got Talent. Have a look at it. I think it's about on 7.30 p.m. tonight. And while we're watching it, we will see you, our friend, explode on stage. And I really encourage our friends to, to watch it because you do, you just explode. It's the most heartwarming, delightful thing to see. You're not singing, you're not doing magic, you're not doing any other form of entertainment except you walk on with your big smile, you do a bit of salsa, you go pow, the crowd go wild, Terry joins in. <laughs> it's just, it, it, you, you, you know, John, and this is the thing why we should never ever give up in life. If, if, all that thing that you describe, and then what, I'm and one of the most watched show in the universe with no talent. The only talent that I have is to be the best Josefina that I'm, I'm becoming, you know? That's my talent. And I, I made it there. Can you believe that? Uh, to me, that's hysterical. That is brilliant. I love that. I have no talent. My only talent I have is being the best version of me that there is. And that got you on the TV right around <laughs> the world. <laughs> now, uh, just for our friends who are thinking, you know, we'll watch the show and enjoy it, uh, but can anyone do this? It's a question that's always asked. What about me? I don't feel well. I don't feel healthy. Can I still be a better version of me no matter where we are in life? Can we still be a bit better? And ah. the next day, can we still be a bit better? Exactly. Of course, young. And my book number four is about that, how to how to begin to that transformation from zero, from nothing. Yes, but you know, the, the, it, anything, no matter what circumstances you find yourself, no matter what surrounds you, if you want it, you can get it. If you want it, but you have to want it. And like I said before, John, you have to want it with the desire of your spirit. Because the, this, you have to, it's a desire that you have. You have a desire to be the best person that you can be. And that desire can be guided by the flesh or guided by the spirit. When that desire is guided by the spirit, so everything is possible in your life. Everything that you can conceive in your mind, that you can visualize, that you can see yourself doing. You are able to do it. You visualize yourself becoming a healthy person. You will do it, but you have to put action to your vision, to your wishes. Wishes is not is no is not gonna work, and hope is not gonna work in that sense. But the passionate desire to do what you want to achieve in your life, to give yourself a chance, to give yourself the opportunity, to appreciate yourself so much that you are willing to put a little bit of discipline to it, a little bit of commitment to it. And the beautiful thing with the physical body is when once you start taking those steps towards health, 
immediately you feel the result. You, f you feel the side effect. You see the consequences of that. You feel happier. You feel like a person that wants to really continue doing more and more. And that's the reason I said to people, start walking five minutes. Because I know for a fact, you walk five minutes, you go six. And you go, I'm pretty soon you're gonna be doing half an hour to an hour, 45 minutes. So just set your mind to do that. Set your mind to be the best version of yourself. Don't cut yourself short. You have some little pride in yourself. You know, the natural tendency of the human body is towards health. You already have that GPS working for you. Listen to this. You already have that GPS working for you because the natural tendency of the human body is towards health. Can you believe that? Pow! I can believe it. Pow, have a little pride in yourself. I wrote it down. Uh, Savina, thank you for talking to us live out of Miami and Florida. You keep safe and warm and well, and we're going to watch you on the telly tonight. America's Got Talent. It's John, tell me. Thank you, Safina, and of course. Thank you. And follow me on Instagram. Tell your uh, listeners to follow me on Instagram. We'll do that, Instagram, and uh, I notice uh, Facebook as well. There are others that we can do. Dr. Josefina Monasterio joined us last this morning, 22 after 1. Have you ever looked at your life and said, I'm going to make it better? Pow! Josefina, <laughs> thank you. You're amazing. Thank you, John. Thank I you love so you. See, love you too. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye. Hi. <clears throat> okay, we can do our little live here, right? So we can put it in YouTube, right? And Christy Grove, hi, amazing. Can you like? Can you believe it's tonight? I'm gonna be in Australia, so it's gonna be fun. It's Australian people watching me doing my dance. <laughs> How are we like this? Okay, so I remember I mentioned to you this morning that I, we were gonna be doing live today. So let's do it now because you are you guys are here. Gracias, Denise, gracias. Thank you, and Christy. Okay, so one of the things that I wanna converse with you probably because I mentioned it to John, let's, let's take a, re, uh, uh, a jump start with uh, what I was telling John about the desire what is sometimes we confuse desire with hopes and wishes and that is completely out of sight me encanta gracias marta okay so you want me to talk or you want to say hi to me and you want me to say hi to you <laughs> you can say hi but okay let me finish with this thought because i think it's important that you, that you get this one and i, I wrote it down because i was marta hola Soto, um, I wrote it down, so I'm gonna be reading just to refresh, to refresh like taking notes for my book number five. So, and I have here, the desire is the starting point of all achievement. Your desire is the starting point, point of all achievement. No a hope, no a wish, but a keen, penetrating desire which transcend everything the desire to achieve something great has to transcend everything what John was asking me is it possible can I transcend my mediocrity can I transcend my 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 laziness can I transcend my lack of respect to myself can I transcend that? So the desire will give you that power, but the, 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 the trick is, where is that desire come from? Is that desire coming from the spirit or is that desire coming from the flesh? Are you motivated by the secular or are you motivated by the sacred? People in the secular, will see, that's what I don't use a word. For me, I don't have routine. I have ritual. For me, routine is secular. Rituals are sacred, you know? So 
because especially when you continue, you, you continue, continuously keep developing your spirit, developing that spiritual muscle, your tendency is more towards the separate. Because it's an impossibility that, that you keep developing your, your spiritual muscle, you're going to in, stay in the secular. You have to keep evolving. You uh, automatically you evolve. Evolve. It's like automatically you go to the gym and you work out like you're supposed to work out every day. Then you will be, you will be evolving. You will be the, you will be seeing the changes in your physical body. The same thing happened with the spirit. So we have to make sure that my desire is a desire desire that is guided by what by the spirit, not by the flesh. If I'm guided by the flesh, I will do everything for money for fame, for fortune, people to know me. You know, like Denise Pagan, Pagan and, and Norma, and some of the people that are watching me, that have been follow me, following me for day one, that, that's not my motivation. I remember when it was just the four of us, or the three of us, or the ten of us. It was just that, okay? So when you desire is by the flesh, that's what you want. You want the day, you want the followers, you want this and you want that. And that will be a disappointment. You will have a, a moment in life that will disappoint you because it doesn't fulfill your soul. It doesn't fulfill your spirit. But when you desire it by the spirit, you have a blast. Why do you think I'm always happy? Why do you think I'm always having a blast? Because I'm guided by the spirit. So anything that I do, I don't doubt in my head that it will turn out fine. Because it's God's purpose and it's God's plan for us. And you would say, you know, you would think, well, you know, you, you always bring God into the equation. Because without God in that equation, you're nothing. You will accomplish nothing. And you will, let me tell you back, you will accomplish fame and fortune, but you will be a miserable human being. You will have that thing that we all sometimes see out there that people with money and they take drugs and they kill themselves and they overdose and they're dying in a bathtub and they, well, why? Why? Why if you are guided by the spirit? Why is your desires to, to be the best person that you can be? If you are guided by the, by the spirit, there is no way. There is no way that you will go in the other direction. So, you, you have to be very, very clear in what motivates you. Is the desires of the flesh or your desires are by the, by the spirit? Yes, they need, yeah, okay? So, the dis and this is the thing where, where the desire is the starting point of all ach uh, achievement. If you want to achieve something, you have to st you have to have a strong desire to to take you there. But you have to distinguish: is my desire led by the flesh, or is my desire led by the spirit? That's simple. Any 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 comments or anything that you want to add to this one? Sacred and spiritual. Yes, exactly. Yes, the, the, the Diane, Diane Fontaine. If you guys, anybody wants to come in camera or you have anything comment that you want me to address or you have any question about this issue or about this topic, because, um, and that is, and you know, let me tell you one thing. When you are guided, when you desire, it's guided by the spirit. The only thing you, you have to do is, if you want an example, if you want an example, the only thing you have to look at my life, because I constantly, because I look at my life and it's, it's so amazing, but I know it by his grace, it's, I know it by his grace. And because I always try to make that what I'm doing is guided by thy spirit, that I'm pure, that I'm honest, that I'm transparent, that I'm not just you know, just to try to get people stuff or, you know, do whatever, you know what I mean. I can't even put it in words because that's not my consciousness. I don't function at, the, at that level of consciousness, which is a very low level of consciousness. So as you keep developing your spirit and developing the spirit that, that is that you, what you want in life, you know, remember that 
and I'm jumping right now, but that, uh, uh, I think it's in, in Proverbs, I said, uh, no, it's David, it's Psalm, in Psalms, that David asked God, change my heart, make my heart pure, give me a steadfast heart, you know, it, it's just because we have to have always asking that we have that kind of mentality, that kind of attitude, that kind of desire. Make sure that your desires are guided by the Spirit. How do I know that my desires are guided by the Spirit, by the fruits, and by how happy you feel? If you are guided by the Spirit, no matter what you do, whether you get paid or no, whether you get, uh, you, because your pay is no pay, that is pay in the sense we know. The payment is that sense of joy, that sense of happiness, that sense of contentment, that sense of, oh, you feel that you did great, that you did good, but it's not, it has nothing to do with material thing. It has to do with the satisfaction of something that is supernatural. You feel, you basically feel that God is happy with you. And then how do I know that ha God is happy be with me? Because of the rewards, because of the fruits. You will know them by the fruits. That's how you know. That's how you know. So, um, amazing it's amazing and God can do amazing well of course you know he created the universe but what he can do for you for your life yes Denise yeah so um, I guess the spirit went by because I got quiet um, <laughs> let's meditate um, <clears throat> oh thank you Nancy Ruth for hi Ruth um, but it's any any Denise is any topic Denise any point that you want me to address about what you just said because Denise knows me and Denise hola Belia gracias Waleska uh, anything else, any from this topic that, about desires, about the desires of the flesh and the desires of the spirit, how to cultivate the spirit, how to cultivate. And so uh, how do we know the stuff? I was saying, how do we know, how do we know that is the guided by the, by the spirit? Because of the benefit, because of how you feel, because the rewards, because you will compensate more. So conscious how you talk to yourself. Yes. Denise Lafontaine, lawyer. I always make my decision, yes. Yeah, so subconsciously so you talk to yourself. Yes, but at that moment, Denise, then we're talking about, we're talking about in the body, in, in the plane of reality of the body, which is the body is body, mind, body, conscious mind, subconscious mind, created subconscious. Now, when we get into the, in the, in the, in the, in the realm, at the plane of reality, the spiritual plane of reality, then it comes the desires, the, the separating what type of desire do I have? That, now we're going beyond the, the, the mind. We're going beyond the conscious subconscious created subconscious, right? So at the, at the plane of reality of the spirit, then we have to approach it like in a different, from a different perspective. Because now who's guiding you is the spirit. Who, how the spirit manifests through your intuition, a gut feeling, a compulsive desire to do something that's me i feel a compulsive desire i have to do this i have to post this like you know in the beginning people that i appreciate people that i can trust because they're very close to me and stuff they would tell me you post too much you are uh, you, you you should post to post three times a week a day and the spirit will tell me post 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 and i thank god i listen to the spirit because you can do this you, let me tell you one thing your spirit can be minimized annulated eliminated exterminated by the people around you because in the world there is a way to do things 
Oh, you have to post three times during my, my experiment. I, I post when the spirit tells me to post. I feel something and I'm okay, I do it. And that's why um, I was saying to you, how do you get that, that, uh, that can you feel that the spirit guiding you? Because in my case, it's a compulsive desire. The desire is so strong. The desire is so powerful that if I don't do it, you know what happened? If I don't do it, it keeps in my head. Do it, it pow, 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 pow. That's where the pow come from, pow. And I have to do it, not until I do it. I have peace and that I know is God you know I do it because something like I don't want to do it I don't want to send money to Venezuela and I don't want to do it and then God bam, 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 attack it until I do it and then I have a sense of peace and you have a sense of peace and tranquility that only the spirit can you can give you that peace and tranquility it's amazing it's amazing thing so John is sending me text saying thank you um, so, John from Australia. Thank you, you were wonderful, Paul. Can't wait to watch the show on TV tonight. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, you get the promptings of the Holy Spirit, and you're fine. You will be fine. Okay, so I think we did it today. Um, I wanted to do a, a live with you guys today. Because I haven't done one for a while, because all these interviews, which is wonderful. Now we're going to be in Australia tonight, so we'll see. Um, and we'll see what God has in store for us, for all of us. Because you're coming with me. <laughs> okay, my friends. So, love you and have a great and successful prompting. Yes, the prompting, the prompting. The Holy Spirit is always prompting you. Which means, what does that mean? That means telling you, you hear the inner voice. Don't go three times for your positive thing. Exactly, exactly. That's how I feel. And you know what? You know, you know, Ruth. You know why? You know how, what happened, Ruth? How God confirmed to me do the do it the way I'm telling you to do it. You know what happened, Ruth? Every time I posted, I got more people. That wasn't the beginning. Okay, we're not talking about now, but from the beginning. Every time I did a posting, I got more people. And every time I did a posting, I got two or three people. In it. And so I said, this is the right thing to do. People like the posting. And then Ruth, what you say, there is a need for something positive, for something good, for something that people have hope, you know, and, and, and the expectation of life can be an amazing journey instead of the expectation. Everybody's dying, dying for the coronavirus. Every, everything, everybody's fighting, everybody's kept looting and burning and it's crazy stuff out there but we don't go we don't go with the world you know we we that's the world that is the world reality the kingdom of God is perfection I choose to live in the kingdom of God I don't care yeah that, um, my TV time is almost zero right now before I used to watch it like a little bit now it's zero why because it's contamination and pollution is it's infectious, infecting you with all these viruses of negativity and hate. And you know, and God, God's world is beautiful. The kingdom of the Lord is amazing. In God's world, we're all happy. I don't have to die to go to heaven to be happy. I'm in heaven. I look, look at the sunrises that we watch every single morning. Look at the ocean. Look at the clouds and the sky and the smells and the birds and all the beauty that God created. And we don't focus on that stuff. We focus and we live in the kingdom. And you know, I mentioned that this morning. When, you know, seek first the kingdom of God. If we seek first the kingdom of God, we have everything. Because you're in the kingdom. I don't have a problem going any place because I'm the daughter of the king. And wherever I go, things are going to work out for me. Oh, look, the airline, they're charging for the suitcases. I go and they check the airline, and the woman decides not to, not to charge me for the suitcase. Who's the, who do you think is doing that? It's God. Uh, we are the, his children. And wherever you go, he's going to provide for you. He's going to help you. He's going to break barriers. He's going to eliminate all the stuff so but you have to you have to decide you have to completely 
believe it and you have to declare yourself and you have to feel that you are a child of God, that you are one of her favorite child like me. <laughs> I feel like one, I'm, I'm thinking like, like he's more consentida. <laughs> Exactly, Ruth. Thank you so much for confirming that. But anyway, so um, I just posted my lunches. I posted a girl who sent me a video. You know, it, my my social media is for you guys. I like to promote people. I like to promote these women that send me pictures that they lost weight and they looking great and they feel they feel fabulous. That's what my social media is all about. My social media is, is not so much for me. I'm just the Con conduit, right? Is that how you say? The conduit, the messenger. But it's, for about, it's all about you guys. It's all about you getting better and better and better. It's you about getting closer and closer and closer to God. It's you about reaching your happiness every single day. You get closer and closer. Let me tell you one thing. The closer you are to, the closer you are to God, the richer you become and the happier you become. Pow! <laughs> Okay, the, I'm going to save this video and it's going to go in our YouTube channel and my friends and YouTube. Thank you so much and I love you. Okay, guys, I love you. Oh, I miss El Norma. You had to make a conscious decision to be happy and joyful every day. That's what I do. Smile. Exactly, Norma. Praise the Lord. Okay, my friends. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Denise. I love you, Mommy. Thank you for always, always being there, Mama. Always. I love you. Besitos. So, y mira, Denise, happy birthday para tu mamá. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Denise, mommy. Happy birthday to you. I love you. Pow. Bye. Bye, Angela. I love you too. Dara. Oh, thank you, Dara. Love you too, mama. I love you. Bye.